Shalom everybody. I got another one for you. I named this one the pastor and the rapture. So here we go. Living in a world of fear where everyone fears this rapture that your pastor keeps preaching to you about. But how can he preach and teach if he's still living in sin? Asking you to give 10% to keep you in a church where it will lead you astray. Suppressed by the lies in disguise to get you to testify that if you confess with your mouth your sin, you will have everlasting life. Only to let you to believe that the laws are done away with, but what happened to commit not sin. Persuaded by your pastor that tells you that you can eat the swine, but how can that be when it's unclean? Did we forget it was a sin? Oh, the laws are done away with, you say. Did he not say he came to fulfill and not to take away? He is the most high. He changed not. So you still going to lie and tell your people to eat that swine? So why do you still justify the fact that swine is not a sin? But let us look at Deuteronomy 14 and 8. Now back to this rapture your pastor keeps preaching to you about. What chapter? What verse is that? Are you that blind that you cannot see what his word means? Luke 17, 34, I tell you that in that night there shall be two men. In one bed, one shall be taken and the other shall be left. So, is that the rapture your pastor keeps telling you about? My people are lost for lack of knowledge. Yea, if you love him, you keep his commandments. But we forget we have to examine ourselves. Whether we be in faith, we have to prove ourselves. Greater is he who is in me. So, are you still going to believe in this rapture? Finally, brethren, remember, whatsoever things is true, honest, just, pure, lovely, even of good report, they be, they be virtue in any praise. Think on these things. Thus said the Most High, keep his commandment, and you will have eternal life. There is no rapture. Your pastor is just telling lies. That is all I got for you guys right now. I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, giving you messages to keep you uplifted and motivated. It feels good to be back on Facebook. Thank you to those that uh, kept in touch with me while I was gone. Thank you for your concern. Um, I miss y'all. Um, thank you for, you know, keeping me in your prayers. Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sharala. I see you guys around. Be blessed.